Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is John with uh, Space City EDC. Coming at you with a video on a uh, TSA compliant multi tool made by uh, Leatherman. This is a Style PS, if you guys are not familiar with them. Uh, this is a tool that uh, they're claiming you can take on an airplane with you or travel with, so it's travel friendly. But it's boasting it has eight tools, so we're going to get into it here. Uh, we'll start with uh, the carabiner. And we have, uh, you can also use this as a bottle cap lifter. It has a pair of tweezers here in the, the handle here. Much like a Victorinox set of tweezers. Uh, it has a nail file with a small flat tip. Screwdriver on the end of it, right here. You can see that. Nail file works really good, a little aggressive. It has a pair of spring loaded scissors and a handle. Works really well. It has the pliers with a needle nose and then a regular pliers, and then you have your wire cutters here. And these are also spring loaded. Uh, of course, these are for minor, minor things, real light duty stuff. Uh, the specs on it, the weight on it is really light. It's like 1.58 ounces or 44.7 grams. Closed length is 2.9 inches. Open length is four and a half inches. And uh, in size comparison. This is a Victorinox Midnight Manager, so I'll kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at here. This is a 58 millimeter Victorinox right here. This is a Wave, ever popular Leatherman Wave. So, kind of give you an idea of uh, what you're looking at as far as size goes, but. Uh, these are supposed to be travel friendly, and I know I work at an airport, so I know what a hassle it can be to uh, how many people have lost their knives. Uh, I lost a buck knife one time by accidentally forgetting it in my backpack, and I was going to work, and the TSA agent stopped just like they normally do to search our stuff. Found the buck knife in there, and uh, of course I didn't get it back. But, I mean, we are allowed... But I work as an aircraft mechanic, so we are allowed a little bit of leeway. And when we're working on the airport, we can have certain tools with us and even knives up to a certain length. But this was a hunting knife that I'd forgotten about in my backpack. And uh, before, I was, before I was over with, I had the TSA agents there, the police were there. And even though they were very nice, they, they couldn't return my once I explained it to them that I'd been fishing that weekend and had forgotten it, it was coming back to work off my weekend. They, they were very nice about it, but however, they couldn't return the item. So, and that goes for anything like a Leatherman or a folding knife or a Victorian knife, any kind of blade. You're not going to be able to get through TSA with it. So, I've never tried this, so I'm not going to swear that you can get through TSA with it. I wouldn't see why you couldn't, because there's no blade on it. So. They will more than likely let you through. And I've heard a lot of people say that they've had good luck with these, making it through the CSA checkpoints uh, when they're traveling. So that is what this is all about. They do make another version of this called the CS that has a pair of scissors in place, a larger pair of scissors in place of the, uh, the pliers. And it has also... Uh, a little small knife plate on it so that is not TSA friendly so don't get them confused on the website I believe them and this is running about $34 $35 however it's showing it unavailable uh, it's been unavailable for a while I don't know if that means it's going to be discontinued or if they're just uh, behind on production but uh, if something was to happen to this and you had to return it they might end up replacing it with something like a Micra. I've heard of that happening also, which is a Micra is a, another 
keychain tool made by Leatherman. Uh, not TSA compliant. But anyway, just wanted to show this to you guys. Uh, this is the Leatherman style PS TSA compliant multi-tool. Comes with a 25 year warranty. Uh, Leatherman is good on their warranties. I know because I've used it several times. Very good company to do business with. Uh, take care of the customers. And once again, this is John with Space City EDC. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I try to come out with these videos. At least try to come out with them once a week if I can. Uh, and we'll talk about tools, you know, EDC stuff, pocket knives, uh, multi-tools, whatever. Anyway. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Talk to you later.